Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Kishond. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Also, if you're struggling to train your dog or are thinking about getting a puppy, then affordable online professional training is what we suggest. See the link in the description and the pinned comment for more info. Kishond Overview Originating in Holland, the Kishond is a medium-sized dog breed from the Spitz category of dogs. The Kishond became a symbol of the Dutch Patriot political party which was led by the Patriot, Kees de Gisselier. Gisselier who owned a Dutch barge dog named Kees, and this gave the breed the name, Kishond. The Kishond is a close cousin to the Samoyed, Chow Chow, Norwegian Elkhound, Finnish Spitz, and Pomeranian. The breed was called the Barge Dog, as it was frequently kept on small boats on the Rhine River to function as a watchdog. The first Kishond was registered with the American Kennel Club in 1930 in the non-sporting group. First, let's have a look at the pros. Easy to train, Kishonds are intelligent, alert dogs that pick up obedience lessons very quickly. A great watchdog, protective of its household and will bark when someone knocks the door or rings the bell. Good with children, they love running around with kids, fetching items and being a part of the fun. The Kishond makes a wonderful pet for just about any family provided they get enough attention. They're lively, alert, and intelligent, qualities that won them status as the most beloved dog in Holland. Although they are a small breed, their thick coats provide good protection against cold weather and snow. It's now time to look at the cons, separation anxiety, this breed is prone to separation anxiety when left for an extended period of time. Heavy shedders, twice per year, Kishons shed a lot of hair from their undercoat. Vocal dog, they can have a tendency to bark at most things that move. Experience overheating during hot weather. Tons of energy, a brilliant, energetic dog can be a neurotic, destructive dog if they're not socialized and exercised. A Kishond may not be the best pet for someone with a full-time job or has an active lifestyle. Interesting facts, Keys make excellent therapy dogs and nursing home visitors because of their lovable and affectionate nature. They've also been called the smiling Dutchman for the way they curl their mouth into a grin. A Kishond will dig a hole to lie in the ground where it is cooler during the summer and warmer during the winter appearance. Kishonden have long fox-like faces, pointed ears, thick fur, and plumed tails. They are colored gray, black, and cream and can come in many different patterns of these colors. The males are 18 inches tall, and females are 17 inches, and they weigh 35 to 45 pounds. This breed is a hardy dog that lives an average of 12 to 15 years. Shedding and grooming. Twice a year, Kishonden, blow, or shed their undercoats completely and this intense shedding period can last up to three weeks. Daily brushing is ideal, but once or twice per week will help to keep the coat clean and remove any loose undercoat. Brushing or combing almost daily with a firm bristle brush is very much required to keep its coat healthy. Kishon shouldn't need a bath more than two or three times a year. Whatever you do, don't shave the coat. It serves as insulation from heat and cold. Trim his nails once a month, and his ears checked once a week for dirt, redness, or a bad odor that can indicate an infection. Brush the teeth frequently with VET-approved pet toothpaste for good overall health and fresh breath. Cost. On average a Kishon puppy will cost $1,500 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $800 and $1,800. The average price of a Kishon puppy in India is around 60,000 to 1, 30,000 rupees. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. Kishon need up to an hour of exercise per day to keep them mentally and physically fit. They enjoy pleasing people and they respond well to positive reinforcement such as praise and rewards. These dogs like chasing a ball, running, jumping, and exploring a short trail in a park. These dogs do very well in dog activities such as obedience, agility courses, puzzles, and other games that challenge their mind. 
Their friendly disposition and innate desire to be close with their humans mean they will love working with you. Be sure to feed your Kishond in moderation, though, as they can very easily become overweight. Daily walks or jogs are often enough to satisfy your dog's activity needs. Kishondan can become bored easily, so keep training sessions short, fun, and interesting. Keep them mentally stimulated and engaged with games or toys is a great way to distract those from the squirrel they think are trying to invade your property. Intelligence. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Koren, Kishond is ranked 16. Understanding of new commands 5 to 15 repetitions and obeys first command 85% of the time or better. Swimming. Kishond can learn to swim and many enjoy jumping in the water or wading in the shallow end to cool off when it's hot. They also like playing in water and using their paws to splash water out of the dog bowl. However, their thick coats can weigh them down, so Kishon should be watched closely when they swim, and their time in the water should be kept brief so they don't tire out. Barking, with his acute hearing and emotional sensitivity, they are more reactive to loud noises than some other breeds and don't do well in an environment with tension or shouting. Kishon will bark, but it's usually welcoming rather than protective. Rarely are they nuisance barkers, but they will bark a warning that a stranger is near. These poochers mostly vocalize when they want their owner's attention or guarding their homes. They are not particularly aggressive, however, and won't go on the offensive with intruders. Weather and climate. The breed's arctic origins make it well suited for cold climates. The Kishond has a very thick coat that kept it warm when it served as a watchdog on riverboats in Holland. They are good for those people who want to raise a canine in moderately chilly and low temperature areas. Keep in mind that if the temperature spike in the summer, a Kishond can easily get overheated. Friendliness. The Kishond is a great pet for families with children. He's a playful, good-natured companion for kids of all ages. In fact, Kishons love children so much they're often used as therapy dogs for autistic children. But, leaving a kid all alone with an untrained Kishond is not recommended as these pooches are a bit lively and frisky in nature and a small child might inadvertently get hurt by this canine. As long as he is well socialized and well trained, the Kishond gets along well with other dogs and pets. Untrained Kishons do have the habit of chasing down other smaller household pets such as cats. But this can all be easily controlled through proper training and socialization. Kishons tend to be a bit standoffish with strangers. Without proper socialization with humans, other animals, and situations, the Kishond may become timid. Adaptability. Kishond adapts well to apartment life and tolerates both urban and rural settings quite well. It enjoys outdoor play but does not require extensive exercise to thrive. If you live in a small apartment, a Kishond is a great choice because he doesn't require a lot of space to be happy. Kishonds are suitable for first-time dog owners, as they're extremely intelligent and relatively easy to train. The grooming needs are fairly high and these canines shed a lot. Hence, if novice or first-time owners are ready to take up all the responsibilities that come along with this fun-loving dog, then it can be a pretty decent option for them. Kishond need a great deal of companionship and don't like being left alone for more than a few hours. These pooches will become very restless, frustrated and sad if they are away from their loved ones and this can lead to the development of various destructive traits like incessant barking, furniture chewing, disobedience etc. Guard, watchdog, Kishon shouldn't be called a great guard dog, but it does make a pretty decent watchdog. This canine can efficiently look after its home and property and can act as a wonderful alarm dog. They keep watch over their homes and will bark to alert their pack to the approach of friends and strangers alike. They are not particularly aggressive, however, and won't go on the offensive with intruders. Drooling, Kishons do not drool a lot. These poochers mostly drool after eating, drinking something or when they are excited. Health issues, patella luxation, it occurs when the kneecap is dislocated from the groove of the thigh bone. Hip and elbow dysplasia, these are skeletal conditions which can cause lameness and lead to arthritis. Hyperparathyroidism, 
This condition results from excessive levels of parathyroid hormone causing increased blood calcium levels. Have you had any experience with Kishond? We'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.